for our next news special report. And now we're diving into a shocking case that has the whole country talking. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey has just unleashed a scathing attack on New York Attorney General Letitia James, calling her prosecution of the former president a gross miscarriage of justice. But what's really going on here? And how could Trump turn the tables to end Letitia's career for good? We'll stick around for the full story because you won't believe the twists and turns that could lead to Letitia James' final days in office. Now, folks, before we jump into our special report, a quick note. Our mission to uphold and share the truth is facing unprecedented challenges. We've been your beacon of truth for over a decade, but now we need your help more than ever. YouTube has demonetized us, and despite our appeals, we have been dismissed. But we refuse to give up. We need your support now. Whether it's a financial contribution or a prayer, your help is absolutely crucial. The links below offer a way to stand with us, ensuring that our voice continues to be heard. We're fighting to preserve truth and freedom, so join us in this critical moment. Donate, pray, or share our message. Together, let's keep the flame of truth burning bright. Now, the Missouri Attorney General, Andrew Bailey, has taken a bold stand against the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, criticizing her prosecution of the former president. Bailey has labeled this prosecution as a gross miscarriage of justice, raising significant concerns about the integrity and fairness of the legal process in the high-profile case. Now, Bailey appeared on Fox and Friends first to discuss the latest developments in Trump's civil case in New York. He emphasized the lack of legal justification for seizing Trump's assets, arguing that James is masquerading as a competent attorney without referencing relevant case law or legal authority. According to Bailey, this prosecution is more about vendetta than justice, pointing out that James is not pursuing the banks involved in the loans to Trump while he claims shows a clear bias. Watch. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey. A.G. Bailey, as a fellow A.G., how blatantly and absolutely wrong are these actions by Letitia James? This is a gross miscarriage of justice. Remember, this was a fraud trial. The only fraud here is that AG Letitia James is masquerading as a competent attorney. Look at some of her pleadings. There's no reference to case law. And why is that? It's because there's no legal authority for what she's doing. Let's remember, this was a civil fraud trial where the claim was that banks gave loans to President Trump based on misrepresentation. And yet Letitia James isn't going after those banks for failing to do their due diligence uh, when providing those loans. The only reason they provided those loans, in fact, was because President Trump is a brilliant businessman who was enormously successful and made tons of money for these banks and every other investor. And Letitia James hates that. She hates his success. And so she's weaponized the justice system against him. And it's it's terrible for all Americans. It's a it undermines due process and undermines the rule of law. Let's face it. She campaigned on going after Trump. She's going after Trump all while real crime is running rampant in New York state. So what arguments do you make in support of Trump in your filings with the court? And what arguments should Trump make to prevent what amounts to a stealing of his life's work from happening? Well, that's exactly what's going on. This is just a theft by the state of New York at the at Letitia James' uh, direction of property owned by the president. And remember, this is property that he obtained legitimately through his business acumen. But I think it's important to remember that the appeal bond is intended to prevent a losing party in a lawsuit from taking their money and fleeing. And yet the assets she's trying to seize here are immovable. Those assets will be there after the appeal is completed. So there's no need to race through this process of seizing property. But also, I would point out that the whole purpose of a bond and the whole pur purpose of a judgment at the end of a civil trial is to make a party whole. Well, when you have no victim, because everybody who did business with President Trump as part of these transactions made money, there's no one to make whole. So again, there's no need, there's no legal justification to seize this property. Also on the fleeing argument, the job that Trump's going for is in Washington, D.C. Kind of tr tough to flee the country and be president. So that completely blows that line of thinking out of the water. If I'm sitting here watching this, I know Trump's a, a, a lightning rod for controversy, but I'm wondering what can happen to me. So can our legal system survive if targeted prosecution and enforcement like this is allowed to stand? 
No, this kind of witch hunt against President Trump is really just the tip of the iceberg. And I would warn all, anyone doing business in the state of New York, I would invite President Trump to move to Missouri. We're open for business. We'd love to have him here. And folks that are doing business in New York need to be advised that the Attorney General of New York will weaponize the justice system and contrive facts and law in order to take them down if they don't uh, uh, ascribe to her ideological bent. Is also the notion of what does Letitia James know about running a golf course? I haven't looked at the names on the lockers at Trump Westchester. I can tell you, not a lot of people are going to be too primed for Club Pro Letitia James. They're probably going to cancel their membership. AG Andrew Bailey, got to leave it there. Thank you so much for your insight. Pre so in his remarks, Bailey highlighted Trump's success as a businessman, arguing that James' actions are driven by animosity towards Trump's achievements. He accused James of ignoring due process and fairness, making this case a symbol of judicial overreach. Now, the fact that the New York court ordered Trump to pay approximately $355 million in interest and penalties for fraud further exemplifies the gravity of the legal battle. Fox contributor D. Roy Murdoch echoed Bailey's sentiments, suggesting that Trump has grounds to sue Letitia James for allegedly violating his civil rights. Murdoch pointed out, that James had previously made discriminatory remarks about Trump, referencing his race and gender, which could be basis for a lawsuit under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Murdoch argued that James' conduct shows a clear bias and that her office receives federal funds, making her actions subject to federal scrutiny. So if Trump decides to pursue this strategy, it could mark the beginning of Letitia James' final days in office. By filing a lawsuit under the 1964 Civil Rights Act, Trump could argue that James' discriminatory remarks and biased conduct warrant her removal. Such a high-profile legal battle would undoubtedly draw national attention, potentially leading to increased scrutiny of James' actions and decisions. If the court finds merit in Trump's claims, it could not only damage James' reputation, but also jeopardize her entire career, demonstrating the power of Trump's legal maneuvers and setting a precedent for holding public officials accountable for their actions. And this could be the ultimate revenge, effectively ending James' career and solidifying Trump's influence in the political arena. Now, Judge Arthur Engeron's ruling in February that Trump has been filing false financial reports for years was another critical point in the saga. Engeron stated that Trump inflated the values of his properties and other assets to secure favorable terms from lenders. However, the recent appellate court decision to reduce Trump's bond from $454 million to $175 million was seen as a partial victory for Trump's legal team. Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, celebrated the reduction, criticizing James for what she described as a baseless and politically motivated prosecution. In an interview with Jesse Waters on Fox News, Haba expressed her belief that James and Engeron should be embarrassed by their actions, suggesting that their lack of a moral compass and conscience has led to an unjust legal battle. Haba's Comments reflect the broader frustration among Trump's supporters who view this prosecution as a politically motivated attack rather than a legitimate legal proceeding. So the case has significant implications for the principles of justice and fairness in America. Bailey's defense of Trump underscores the need to address judicial overreach and ensure that legal actions are based on evidence and law, not personal vendettas. The actions of Letitia James have raised serious questions about the integrity of the legal system and the potential for political bias to influence high-stakes prosecutions. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's time for my final thought. So this case matters because it highlights a crucial issue, the integrity of our legal system. When prosecutions become political tools, justice is at risk. Missouri AG Andrew Bailey's defense of Trump underscores the importance of fairness and due process for all Americans. Moreover, Trump's potential lawsuit against Letitia James could be a turning point exposing judicial overreach and potentially ending James' career. We must stand against such bias and ensure that our legal system remains impartial and just. Upholding these principles is vital for maintaining trust in our republic's institutions and the rule of law. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.